Hello, space enthusiasts and curious minds alike. Today, we're diving into the icy depths of one of the most fascinating celestial bodies in our solar system Saturn's moon, Enceladus. Recent research suggests this small, icy world might just have the right conditions to support life. Stick around as we explore how my team is pushing the boundaries of science to detect extraterrestrial cells on Enceladus. Meet Fabian Klenner, a distinguished planetary scientist and astrobiologist based at the University of Washington. Fabian dedicates his research to unraveling the mysteries of icy celestial bodies, focusing primarily on the moons of Saturn and Jupiter, particularly Enceladus and Europa. Among the 146 confirmed moons orbiting Saturn, Enceladus shines as a celestial body of special interest. This icy moon not only captivates scientists, but also holds promising clues that suggest the potential for life. Between 2004 and 2017, the Cassini spacecraft, an ambitious collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency, conducted a detailed exploration of Saturn, its elaborate rings, and its myriad moons, unveiling groundbreaking discoveries. Among these, the small moon Enceladus, with a diameter of just 313 miles, 504 kilometers, emerged as a particularly intriguing celestial body. Hidden beneath its icy shell, Enceladus hosts a global ocean of liquid water. Dramatically, geysers at the moon's south pole jet, streams of gas and ice particles originating from this subsurface ocean into the void of space. Although the engineers behind the Cassini mission hadn't planned specifically to analyze ice grains ejected by Enceladus, they fortuitously equipped the spacecraft with a dust analyzer. This crucial tool not only measured the ice grains emitted by the moon, but also provided invaluable insights into the composition of Enceladus's hidden ocean. As a planetary scientist and astrobiologist studying these ice grains, I am deeply intrigued by the possibility of life on Enceladus and other icy moons. I'm also exploring the methods we might use to detect such life. Remarkably, the ocean beneath Enceladus's icy crust bears striking similarities to Earth's own aquatic realms, containing common salt sodium chloride and a variety of carbon-based compounds. Additionally, a phenomenon known as tidal heating generates vital energy within the moon. The presence of liquid water, organic chemistry, and internal energy forms a trio of essential ingredients that could support life. In 2023, my colleagues and I made a groundbreaking discovery in the ice grains sourced from Enceladus's ocean, phosphate. This essential life-sustaining compound, a form of phosphorus, is integral to DNA cell membranes and even bones on Earth. This marked the first ever detection of phosphate in the waters of an extraterrestrial ocean. When Enceladus's intriguing geology includes a rocky core that likely interacts with its ocean via hydrothermal vents, fiery, geyser-like structures that pierce the ocean floor. Such environments on Earth are hypothesized to have been cradles for the origin of life. While life beyond Earth has not yet been confirmed, Enceladus stands out as a compelling candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. So the question arises, how do we continue our search in such promising yet uncharted waters? In a landmark study published in March 2024, my team and I embarked on an experiment to test if dust analyzer instruments aboard spacecraft could effectively detect and identify signs of life within ice grains emitted from celestial bodies like Enceladus. We replicated the conditions of space within our lab by creating a miniature water jet infused with bacterial cells, which we released into a vacuum. This setup mimicked how ice grains disperse in space with each microscopic droplet theoretically encapsulating a single bacterial cell. To analyze these droplets embedded in ice grains, our findings were promising. The instruments proved adept at identifying cellular materials. Specifically, they could pinpoint traces of bacterial cells within the ice grains, even if the sample contained as little as 0.1% of a cell's constituents. Moreover, the analyzers identified key biological markers such as amino acids and fatty acids. 
The amino acids could be fragments of proteins or metabolites involved in cellular reactions, while the fatty acids might be remnants of the cell membranes. For our experiments, we chose a bacterium named Sphingopixis alaskensis due to its minuscule size and resilience in cold environments, much like what might be expected from life forms adapted to the icy and sparse conditions of Enceladus's ocean. While the Cassini spacecraft's dust analyzer lacked the capability to identify cellular materials in ice grains, advancements in scientific instrumentation are paving the way for future missions with far greater potential. Scientists are now developing next-generation instruments inspired by our laboratory findings, aiming to enhance the exploration of Enceladus, one of the prime targets for upcoming NASA, and Europe. Europa is believed to host plumes that may eject ice grains into space, which our research could help analyze. The upcoming NASA Europa Clipper mission is set to delve into these mysteries. Slated for launch in October 2024, with an expected arrival at Jupiter by April 2030, the mission includes the Surface Dust Analyzer, a device specifically designed to analyze individual ice grains, offering a unique window into the potential habitability of these icy worlds. Our research reveals that the upcoming instruments, including the Surface Dust Analyzer on the Europa Clipper mission, will be capable of detecting even minuscule fractions of bacterial cells within scattered ice grains. This technological leap significantly boosts our ability to search for signs of life beyond Earth. The enthusiasm surrounding the near-future missions to Enceladus and Europa is palpable. With the cutting-edge tools developed from our study's insights, the potential to uncover extraterrestrial life on these icy moons is more promising than ever. As space agencies gear up for these exploratory missions, the scientific community and the world eagerly await the possibility of answering one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? When Celadus is one of the 62 confirmed moons orbiting Saturn, and it stands out because of its icy surface and remarkable geothermal activity. Discovered in 1789 by William Herschel, this moon has been a subject of interest due to its mysterious subsurface ocean, hidden beneath a thick crust of ice. The Cassini spacecraft provided valuable data showing geysers ejecting water vapor and ice particles from cracks in the surface, suggesting a dynamic ocean world below. The possibility of life on Enceladus hinges on three crucial factors, water, chemistry, and energy. The subsurface ocean is believed to be salty and rich in minerals, similar to oceans on Earth where life thrives around hydrothermal vents. These vents on Enceladus could potentially provide the chemical reactions necessary to support life forms, drawing parallels to our own deep sea ecosystems. Our research team is currently developing techniques to detect life on Enceladus. One approach involves analyzing the plumes of water ejected into space by its geysers. By flying a spacecraft through these plumes, we can collect samples and analyze them for organic compounds and possible microbial life. This method presents a non-invasive way to study the moon's ocean without having to drill through its icy shell. The extreme conditions on Enceladus pose significant challenges. The moon's surface temperature averages around 198 degrees Celsius, 324 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes technology and instruments prone to freezing and malfunctioning. To overcome this, our equipment is designed to withstand severe cold and operate in low light conditions. Moreover, the immense distance from Earth requires autonomous systems capable of making real-time decisions during missions. The exploration of Enceladus could redefine our understanding of life in the universe. Success in detecting extraterrestrial cells there would not only prove that life can exist in environments vastly different from Earth, but also possibly hint at the ubiquity of life in the cosmos. Our research contributes to the broader goal of interplanetary exploration and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Water is fundamental to life as we know it, and Enceladus's subsurface ocean is a prime candidate for containing it in liquid form. This ocean, kept liquid by the Moon's core heating, could provide a stable environment for life to flourish. The Cassini mission detected salts, 
and organic molecules in the plumes, ingredients that are essential for life. Organic molecules are the building blocks of life. When Celadus's plumes have shown traces of complex hydrocarbons, which are critical in forming cell membranes and other life structures. Studying these organic materials can help us understand how life might develop in alien environments. Developing spacecraft capable of exploring Enceladus requires advanced technology. Our team is working on high-tech sensors and drills capable of penetrating the icy crust and sampling the ocean water directly. This technology not only aids our study of Enceladus, but also prepares us for exploring other icy worlds. The geysers on Enceladus are not just spectacular natural phenomena, they offer a direct passage to the moon's hidden ocean. By analyzing the expelled ice and vapor, we gain insights into the ocean's composition without needing to drill miles through ice. Understanding how life might adapt to Enceladus's microgravity is crucial. Microgravity affects cellular processes and fluid dynamics, potentially leading to life forms that are vastly different from those on Earth. Our experiments in simulated environments aim to predict and detect these adaptations. Our project on Enceladus is part of a larger international effort involving multiple space agencies. This collaboration leverages global expertise and resources, ensuring a comprehensive approach to the scientific, technological, and logistical challenges of deep space exploration. As we advance our capabilities to find life beyond Earth, ethical questions arise. What are the implications of discovering life? How do we protect these environments from earthly contamination? Our mission protocols include stringent measures to prevent biocontamination. While Enceladus is a primary target, other icy moons like Europa and Titan also show potential for hosting life. Lessons learned from Enceladus could guide future missions to these moons, broadening our search for extraterrestrial life within our solar system. Engaging the public in our scientific missions is vital for fostering support for space exploration. Through documentaries, social media, and educational programs, we aim to share the excitement and significance of our findings on Enceladus with the wider community. To detect life on Enceladus, we need more than just standard space exploration tools. Our team is developing next-generation life detection instruments specifically designed for icy world environments. These include spectrometers capable of detecting faint organic signatures and isn't just a task for astronomers. It requires an interdisciplinary approach. By combining expertise from biology, chemistry, geology, and engineering, we create a holistic view of what life might look like on Enceladus and how it might survive. One of the most intriguing aspects of our research involves simulating the conditions of Enceladus in laboratory settings on Earth. These simulations help us test our hypotheses about life's potential on the Moon and refine our detection technologies before they are sent into space. Artificial intelligence plays a crucial role in processing and interpreting the vast amounts of data we receive from missions to Enceladus. AI algorithms help us detect patterns and anomalies in the data that could indicate the presence of life, making these technologies indispensable in our quest. Exploring distant moons requires significant investment. Our projects are supported by government space agencies, private sector partnerships, and public interest. This funding not only supports the technological development, but also ensures that we can continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. When Celadus has captured the imagination of the public and artists alike, appearing in films, books, and art, this cultural engagement helps to increase public interest and understanding of our scientific goals, bridging the gap between complex space research and general knowledge. While the primary focus is on detecting life, the research could also inform future discussions about the potential for human colonization of icy moons. Understanding Enceladus's environment helps us envision what technologies and strategies would be necessary for long-term human survival in extraterrestrial conditions. The exploration of Enceladus is a global endeavor that has the potential to benefit all of humanity. International collaborations 
enhance our capabilities, and ensure that discoveries are shared worldwide, fostering a unified approach to exploring our solar system. Communicating with spacecraft near Enceladus poses significant challenges due to the vast distances involved. Enhancing our communication technologies is crucial for timely and effective data transmission. Innovations in space communication, such as laser communication systems, are being developed to increase the bandwidth and reliability of communications between Earth and Enceladus missions. Studying the geological activity on Enceladus provides critical insights into its potential to support life. The Moon's active cryovolcanism and hydrothermal vents suggest geological heat sources that could create habitable environments beneath the icy surface. These geological studies help us understand not only Enceladus, but also similar processes that might occur on other icy moons. The presence of liquid water is a key target in our search for life. Our missions aim to identify and map the extent of significant psychological impacts on humanity. The knowledge that we are not alone in the universe might change many aspects of human culture, philosophy, and religion. Preparing society for such revelations is an integral part of our mission planning. Long-term monitoring and study of Enceladus will be essential to fully understand its environment and potential for life. Plans are being made for continuous monitoring satellites that could provide ongoing observations of the Moon's geologic activity and atmospheric changes. One of the primary concerns with sending spacecraft to Enceladus is the risk of interplanetary contamination. Rigorous sterilization protocols for spacecraft are in place to prevent Earth microbes from contaminating potential extraterrestrial ecosystems. These measures are critical to ensuring the integrity of our scientific findings and preserving the natural state of Enceladus. Private companies are becoming increasingly involved in space exploration, contributing both technology and funding. Collaborations between governments and private enterprises are expected to accelerate the pace of missions to Enceladus, leveraging private innovation and public research to maximize scientific returns. As we venture further into space, international space law plays a crucial role in governing activities on celestial bodies like Enceladus. Ensuring that space exploration is conducted in a manner that respects international treaties and protects celestial environments is essential for cooperative and peaceful outer space exploration. Reaching Enceladus quickly and efficiently requires advances in propulsion technologies. Researchers are exploring options like nuclear thermal propulsion and ion thrusters, which could significantly reduce travel time to Saturn's system, making missions more feasible and frequent. The unique conditions on Enceladus could lead to the development of new scientific disciplines focused on extraterrestrial oceanography and cryovolcanology. These fields would study the specific processes and phenomena of icy moons, enhancing our understanding of celestial bodies across the solar system. Robotic technology is at the forefront of exploring Enceladus. Advanced robots and autonomous vehicles designed to operate in extreme conditions are being developed. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blisovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe in TV member today, and together, we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.